Hello, my lovelies. Yes, I know, I'm looking a bit worse for wear today. Um, I've actually been down with the stomach flu since Monday, and it's Thursday now, and everything is just feeling like that. But I have the Urban Decay Prep and Prime events now now. So I thought I would vlog for you guys and take you along for the ride. Excuse the fact that there's no door on my cupboard still. So yes, I'm about to start doing my makeup now. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just take you guys with me. <laughs> I'm going a little bit full coverage with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is legit one of my favorite foundations. And I'm not just saying it because I'm going to an Urban Decay event. It's legit amazing. Um, I'll actually link, can you hear it's about to rain? I'll link the video down below of where I did almost like a full face with Urban Decay. It wasn't a totally full face. But it was almost a full face. Um, and I showed you this primer. Well, this foundation. But I love it. And I like applying my foundation with a sponge. Purely just because I don't want to cake it on. It is a full coverage foundation. But I prefer to just apply it with a pry it. I apply it with this. It's the Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. Yes, it's dirty. I need to actually wash it. They're so difficult to wash um, because it gives you this airbrush look when you apply foundation with a sponge and a proper sponge. Not one of those half ass things. You know where I'm, what I'm talking about. I spoke about it in one of my videos before. If you buy good tools, they work better for you. Sorry, I really can't think. And it, just like the hair, can we not? But here we go with my new Sean! I want to know from you guys, does anybody have any tips for huge pores on your nose? I have been struggling for... Sure, it was probably when that first breakout of mine stuck in, that um, acne kind of breakout that I had when I was 25, that I'm always yagging on about. My pores on my nose started getting massive back then, and now they are so huge, like, I don't know, you can't see it in that camera because it's not so grand, and a lot of the times I'm like, I'm not going to show you my giant pores. But yeah, I'm struggling with massive pores on my nose and I would like to shrink them just a wee bit. So if you guys have any got if you if you guys have any remedies, let me know. Sorry, you're like backlit, but it's the only way that I can keep you guys involved. Um, and then for highlighting my under eyes and all that jazz, I'm obviously going in with the naked skin concealer in the shade. There. Never mind, it's not going to focus. I'm thinking a brown and goldish smoky eye. I also need to turn on some mother fluffing lights up in here. Bun because basically this rain is a dick. Um, I'm gonna set everything with my absolute favorite D slick. And then I'll do my lips in my car.
morning guys so I actually wanted to film this last night when it got home but remember it, yesterday when I was filming and the power tripped well it turns out that it tripped permanently when I left so I had no power when I got home last night but it came on eventually so I just wanted to show you guys what we got like I must just say and I'm not saying this purely because one of my closest fantasticest is that a word it cut off so as i was saying like the one thing about urban decay and i'm not just saying this because Irina works there and runs things but they they really do go the extra mile when it comes to like i don't know giving to the bloggers and giving to the press and getting their brand out there i mean they did a product launch last night and it was all the whole premise of the launch was creating like your perfect it keeps cutting out for some reason so the whole premise was creating your perfect cocktail and i mean they give you a cocktail shaker like it's just the small things like creating the perfect cocktail for your face so yes a cocktail shaker like come now and then you get a box that is personalized i mean like every single one of these cards was written by arena and they all had something to do with your blog. So you guys know I am obviously on the edgier side of things. And, you know, it's just, it's the little things. So anyway, stop rambling about that. Basically, this is what we got. Ugh. This saying is, I absolutely love this. I feel like this is just... It encapsulates the reason why I do makeup and why I love makeup so much. Just purely because it's it's self-expression. Like, I'm really bad at drawing and all of that other crap. But makeup! Oh, anyway. So, yes, you, Urban Decay spoils. Like, they spoil. So, I got the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have the D-Slick, which you guys are absolutely obsessed with. So, I got All Nighter. I got Quick Fixed, Quick Fix, which I'm so excited about. This one smells like coconuts. It is insane. So Edwin also seems to love Urban Decay for some reason. Every time I get an Urban Decay drop, he's like in there like swimwear. Um, and then, okay, then I got the Urban Decay Urban Defense Complexion Primer. Sabian, stop it. Come, can you get out of here? Come, teeny bum. And then the other one I got is but self adjusting i'm super keen to try um especially on my best friend because she struggles with her face flushing so i'm excited about this sorry about the breakup of these little sections it's basically my phone running out of space and i need to get a vlogging camera so i will make sure i do that but thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this please if you are not please subscribe like the video share it with your friends anybody want a cat because I'm going to give it away. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.